Hi, my name is Diego and welcome to Rental Academy. This video series is dedicated to helping you start your rental business and get the most out of your rental store. But first, what is rental? We need a world that makes less and shares more. We simply cannot afford to consume our planet's resources at our current rate. And that's why we created Rental, a circular commerce platform that allows you to make your products rentable in minutes. So in short, if you're looking to start a business, sell or rent anything online and in person, Rental is the software for you. In this video, we'll go over the basics of Rental and go into more detail of different features, tips and tricks in the other videos. So let's get started. Registering and getting started with Rental is easy. Just go to rental.io, click on get started, add in your info and that's it. You have a store. You will automatically be on the rental free plan, which contains many powerful features that will help you start getting online bookings. Each plan, including the free one, includes unlimited products, inventory articles, bookings, and staff accounts. In the general settings, you'll find all the general info of your business. In the store settings, you'll be able to change things like currency, date, and time formats, measurement units, tax levels, and so on. In the regional format, you'll be able to change things like currency, date and time formats, and measurement units. And then you can also change your taxes from the taxes tab. With rental blocks, you can add more branding to your store, like custom fonts and colors to make your store match your brand. The paid plans also allow you to connect a custom domain to your online store. Now onto creating your very first product. Here you can add the general information of the product. You can set available durations and prices of rental, so either per hour, day or weeks. Add the appropriate VAT and you can also choose to have it as part of a package so it can't be rented out as an individual product. Finally, you can choose which locations it can be rented from. For example, if you offer tours or courses, you can add certain products that are only used during these activities. In the creation process, you can decide whether it's a product or a service, you can add a description, images, and so on. On the bar here, you can see tabs including a more thorough pricing table, product variants, and more advanced product settings you can use. To choose the sales channels the product is visible in, add deposits, adjust start and maintenance time, and so on. Once you're ready, you can publish the product and it will appear in your sales channels. Once you have more products and services added to your catalog, you can cross out anything by recommending additional products which your customers will see during checkout. So if you're renting out a bike, you can add a bike helmet, insurance, and other relevant products to this section. You can also manage the availability by connecting the item to your inventory. From the inventory section, you'll be able to see things like, for example, how many times and hours it has been used, the status, whether it's out of use or it's been lost, and many more specifications that you can customize. To really get things up and running and start accepting bookings, you will need to have payments enabled. We offer a couple of different options, rental payments, Stripe integration, and you can also add your own manual payment methods such as pay on pickup and invoices. To set up your payments, head over to account and payments. From there, you can choose which option suits you, but we would recommend the rental payments. If you're interested to learn more about setting up payments and the different payment options, head over to our other more in-depth guide on how to set up payments or visit the link in the description. Now, let's take a look at what your store can look like. You might have noticed this little bar on the top of the page. Whenever you add a new product or make any changes, you can easily visit your online store from here. Here, you'll see your products and different categories, as well as the bar where your customers can find information. If you have many locations, change the store they're browsing in and you will see the available products in that location. Later on, you can also add additional languages that your pages translates to and connect to your social media. And that's it. For more in-depth guides on how to set up your account, creating products and so on, head over to our Rental Academy playlist. 
There you'll find a step-by-step -step instruction for everything you need when setting up your store with Rental. For more information, check out the links in the description and see you in the next video.